bit of a random one. Uh, it's quarter past ten on a Sunday, and I'm sick of watching news. And yeah, so I'm driving to Wales, and again, it's only a two and a half hour drive, 145 miles to get there for about quarter to one. It's about three hour to the top. Uh, should be done for four, five. Back home for about nine. <laughs> Call us on the spontaneous. Today was one of them days where I don't want to sit in the house, I'm sick of watching the news. Uh, I'm sure my time will come when I'm out in buddy Ukraine or whatever. Things put something up. Anyway, I thought I'd do a bit of training. And uh, one of my things on my bucket list is to go and visit Penny Fan. <laughs> I don't want to go SES. No. But it's just one of those sort of places where you just want to go and visit. So, on a Sunday afternoon, as I drove a little bit off this morning, 11 o'clock hit the road, two and a half hours later, there we are. Amazing. I'm not at the top yet. I've let some of them over there. I've done 1k, I left a bit of phone box. Um, average pace. Oh, I'm right actually, four kilometers an hour. That's yes level. <laughs> no, no. But anyway, keep going, I'll see how we get on. Um, maybe it's be like four dark, if not, not packed. So I don't expect to be out overnight, but I do have a tent. And this place tends to uh, turn at the spin of a coin with the weather. So anyway. I'll see you at the top as I go along. Wednesday! 
And there it is. Yes. Alright, well, if you can hear me, but I'm taking a rock as a souvenir. Down to the bottom. Uh, I've been pissing around taking videos on the drone, so um, trying to get some nice shots. Uh, it's nice. Um, yeah, well, let's get a little bit serious. Uh, not so serious, I hope. But um, depression. Uh, yeah, that's, I'm a long term suffer sufferer of it. And uh, yeah, it's a state of mind that I kind of put myself in. Uh, yeah, it's you, you, you look at all the things that you'd go through in life, like work, your job, money, finance. Why am I repeating it twice? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's, so let's so let's cut that back. So a lot of the crap in our lives, we sort of overwhelm ourselves with, and we feel like it's just I don't know, punching us. And it's just how we deal with it. Um, over the years, I've not dealt with mine quite so well. And I'd say three times in my life, I've not wanted to be here anymore. So, I'm one time in, there's been hospital. But anyway, it's a different story. But one of the reasons why I'm out doing this, these crazy walks, uh, I don't even really, some people might even class them as crazy, more of a routine thing. But for me, it's different. Uh, I'm trying to find something that I can, uh, what's the word? offload or refresh the brain, relax because I think 95% of my time I'm stressed and with that stress it causes me to be depressed um, the majority of the time my depression and stress comes from work and family uh, I put them in a if there, was a if there was a division football league I'd probably put that one in a Premier League so work and family top two uh, and then we start working onto the sort of championship side and then you can sort of look at the things like finance and and like your what your I don't know your prospects in life or how you're living um, I be, I'm quite lucky in a way I've been in the military I've got a military house um, again that's a different thing for me to worry about but in, in about five or six years time I've got to leave the military and find a house and um, buying in Oxfordshire on a military wage is not <laughs> it's not I think that's why I'm looking in Wales it's like a pitch a tent up over here They're a lot cheaper but anyway um, yeah again I've, I've gone way off the sub subject I think depression it's 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 a state of mind that we ourselves put ourselves in we overwhelm ourselves with all the crap that we deal with on a day to day basis and um, we see very little in any positives that we do so for example one positive for me is getting out of bed in the morning and having a coffee I never used to drink coffee um, I know they, they'll say stimulants is one of the things that causes it but at the same time getting out of bed and just having a chill that's my five minutes of peace before I have to go and answer phones, do work at work, paperwork, think about how I'm going to pay this, how I'm going to pay that, you know, and being in the military, what's happening in the world, you know, that sort of thing. But anyway, think positive. What can I say for that? Challenge yourself. Aim for one thing. Just go for a walk. I don't know. I'd, I'd ask. Start to be a walk. So, 
you pick something and you'd be surprised with what benefits it does for you. I'm still trying to discover who I am. Uh, I find it hard, like probably m most people in the world. I've done all sorts, all sorts. I'm that sort of guy that like, he's good at that, he's good at that. He's, I'm crap, I'm not very academic. I can't, I'm from Yorkshire, man. So this to me is as good as being at home. So, but yeah, try and just try some new things. You'll, be su you'll surprise yourself. Um, yeah, no matter how low you feel, keep your chin up. There's always somebody there for you. And then again, that's another subject, loneliness. I mean, I feel lonely, but don't confuse it between lonely and wanting the love of a, of a woman and being lonely as in sort of, you know, people around you. So mine's, mine's a bit of a combination of both in a way, but um, nearly 40. Ugh. And I'll look 21. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's um, that's another subject on its own loneliness. Again, that adds to depression. But there's all reasons for the different reasons for everybody. And I apologise again uh, if you can't hear me because of the wind and all this blab I'm going on about. I hope it can relate to somebody and and maybe help you know help you. Um, I'm trying to find what I'm doing. Uh, maybe what I find might help somebody else. So I don't know. But um, keep your chin up i'm always here to listen if someone wants to you know private message me or talk i'm uh i don't want to tout for work but i'm a mental health first aider um i've done a lot of depression sort of courses so um yeah young adults children again so there's always somebody there for you and again these things are available to anybody no matter who you are so I'm a friendly guy and I'll try and help anybody. So, all right, catch you in a bit. P.S. Can you do a P.S. on a video, like a postcard or a letter? But anyway, I'm no professional at this and um, I'm doing it more as though sort of the average Joe. Uh, just trying to enjoy doing a bit of vlogging. Uh, it's, 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 it's quite therapeutic, actually. I enjoy it. <laughs> it's weird so but yeah just an average joe trying to find where i'm going follow me don't follow me do your own thing but just yeah i'm alive i do feel alive actually uh yeah it's, it weren't that bad today a bit windy a little bit of drizzle I expected for brecon beacons uh, and the and the fan, uh, yeah, it's good fun. Um, recommend it for anybody. I know I said it on, on, on a few other things. Um, yeah, I'm just getting myself warmed up now a little bit. So I was, I would say I was under, I would say under prepared. I just, I just decided not to wear all my, my big jackets and puffer jackets and stuff. So I just went up with t-shirt and and the old uh, fleecy windproof regatta top. Um, yeah, I was prepared. Then my bag, bag had everything else. Just, to, just so you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't been stupid and going up with just a t-shirt and, and, and a jumper. But yeah, I, I had my carry more bag full of everything. So, but yeah, good day. Uh, positives. Yeah, yeah, no negatives today. Uh, long drive, but it's worth it. 145 miles from where I'm coming from. Uh, Oxford, now I'm about Oxford area. Um, yeah, give it a go, give it a go. Uh, what else, so now I'm literally gonna go find somewhere to get a warm tea, coffee, drink, something like that, and then, then maybe a bit of, I don't know about food yet, I'm still indecisive on that one, I might grab a bite, but if not, I'll get somewhere to get home. Um, yeah, so what's next? What's next? I think I've had too much fresh air. I can't think. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm off uh, for this one, and I'll catch you on my next little adventure. And maybe challenge yourself to something, uh, whatever that could be. Don't know. Don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what it is myself. So I'm just trying to do pitfalls over these other little things. Do this. Do that. Do this. Uh, maybe maybe mountain biking next at the bike park in Wales. Uh, fancy a few broken bones. I don't. I don't. 
I don't, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure something anyway. But um, thanks for watching, and if anything's of interest to you, you know, add me. I'm not bothered about whether you subscribe or not. I think that's a lot of pash. I'm not, I'm not here, on here because I want to get millions of subscribers. I'm only doing it because it's more of a vlog for me. And times are hard, and I know we're all kind of looking for some help in some form from something. So it seems like YouTube seems to be very popular these days. Um, but anyway, cheer up.